Hello, this is Marcus Levy, President of the Multicore Association. I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the Multicore Association, and then I'm going to turn it over to Masaki Gondo, who's going to talk to you about SHIM, the software hardware interface for multi mini core. The Multicore Association was established in 2005, and since the beginning, the mission was to improve the time to market through the use of industry standards. Our membership is comprised of board level, working group level, and university members. And all of our specifications are developed based on committee review and approval. This is a current list of our association members, the board members, the working group members, and the university members. And you can see that it's comprised of a variety of hardware, software, universities, um, a, a wide variety of companies. Since our inception, we have produced several specifications and documents for public consumption. The first one, which we released several years ago, is the Multicore Communications API. And since then, we've also released an upgraded version, 2.0. We also have a multi-core resource management API, and we have recently, earlier this year, announced the multi-core task management API. And we've also, this year, put out a multi-core programming practices guide, which has currently been downloaded by over 3,000 people around the world. The original strategic roadmap of the Multicore Association consisted of these MCA Foundation APIs. With the introduction of SHIM, we're now adding another piece of the puzzle where um, the SHIM will provide an integration between, or an interface between the Multicore system and Multicore tools. And now I'll turn it over to Masaki Gondo to give you some details on what SHIM is about. Hi, this is Masek Gondo of ESOL. I'm chairing this SIM working group. Let me provide you a short introduction to SHIM. A SHIM, in English, is a piece of material that goes between two objects. Our SHIM, which stands for Software Holder Interface for multi many core is a is an interface which provides a specific hardware description in a standardized OpenXM model so that the tools can help software engineers and system designers to get the best out of multi many core chips. Let me look at the problem and the solution and benefit more in detail. The problem we have is that the March core and many core architectures are so diverse. And architectural information is critical for tools and runtime system to be able to parallelize and optimize, analyze, and manage the multi many core software system. However, currently architectural information is available in proprietary format primary in natural language, such as a technical reference manual. This is quite costly for tool support, which results in reduced tool availability and sub even subject to misinterpretation. So the idea here is to define a standard for multi-core architecture description. In this scheme, hardware vendors provide a description in XML format, and two vendors will consume the XML files. The benefit is that the chip vendors, OEMs, and programmers have more tools available, and the customers get quicker time to market, and it provides a more consistent interface and documentation between hardware and software vendors. As a whole, it accelerates the ecosystem of much many core technology so that everyone in the market can benefit from it. SHIM is an interface defined as an XML schema. It's an exception of hardware properties that matter to multiple tools. 
important point here is that it's not just an abstraction of the hardware properties where you would, you would abstract every properties of the hardware. This is not the goal of SHIM because SHIM is an interface for much many core software tools. So only the part of the properties that are important to those tools are abstracted away. So it is an extraction of hardware properties. It is a hardware model described from a software point of view. SIM, however, is not a functional model of hardware. It is descriptive. It is not a 100% description of hardware neither. It's only the properties that matter to software. It's not a tool itself. Tools are implemented by various vendors that use SIM. Let us look at what SHIM can do. SHIM can help tools roughly estimate software performance. It can help tools to configure themselves and will or generate the hardware specific configuration user interface. It can help configure device drivers or hardware abstraction layer. SHIM can now, however, estimate software performance with 100% accuracy. We do not believe in achieving the 100% accuracy is necessary to come up with a good software design. SHIM cannot all generate how, but it can help to configure itself. This is a relationship in a nutshell. On your left, you have different multi-many core hardware which is described in SHIM XML in the center. And on your right, you have different multi-core tools that consume SHIM XML files and help software designers to get the benefit out of the much many core hardware. There are three major use cases of SHIM. The first one is performance estimation. The performance information is critical for most design aid tools. Examples are auto-paralyzing compilers, other paralyzing tools, and performance analysis tools, and so on. The second one is system configuration. The operating system, middleware, and other runtime libraries need basic architecture information to configure itself. Other tools previously mentioned also need this. The third one is hardware modeling. SHIM may serve to configure a hardware model like a simulator. It may be useful for architecture exploration. One interesting scenario could be if you're an OEM, you could describe a desired hardware in SHIM XML from a software point of view and you could provide that XML to hardware companies so that they can compare uh, what part of specification matches your desired hardware model. The roadmap of SHIM is like this. We've completed phase one, which is a sort of preliminary work uh, to come up as a basis for MCA working group activity. We are in the current uh, phase two, uh, which goes on until the end of the next year. And we actively discuss and further develop the specification so that we can publish the MCA specification by the end of 2014. In the phase three, we will continue to the next version of the SHIM and at the same time, we are going to actively promote the specification through different uh, conferences. In phase four, there's a possibility we could uh, make a proposal to I2E to for wider adaption of SHIM specification. 